During World War II, radar was developed as a tool for tracking enemy aircraft. However, radar operators reported unidentified angels or phantoms on their radar screens. People monitoring on the ground solved the riddle of the angels. They turned out to be flying birds. Early pioneers realized that radar could be used to study the flight behavior, movement and ecology of flying animals like no other tool and at enormous scales and distances. Aeroecology, the study of the ecology of life in the air, had always been a difficult and limited pursuit. Radar aeroecology became a new field of research in the 1950s and has grown ever since. More than 70 years after the development of radar, it is still one of the best techniques for studying aerial animals. Early researchers piggybacked on radar systems designed to monitor weather, air traffic control, or for defense. Today, researchers design systems specific to monitoring animal behavior and movement in the air. Radar aeroecology has helped scientists better understand the ecology of birds, bats and flying insects, including migration behavior. We know that trillions of insects migrate across UK skies each year and billions of birds cross North America each spring and autumn. Predicting bird migration, including events that could be harmful to aviation. Changes in animal populations over time. Brazilian free-tailed bats migrate to Texas two weeks earlier than they did 20 years ago because of climate change. Conservation. Radar can let conservation biologists know how bird populations are attracted to light pollution. In 2012, the European Network for the Radar Surveillance of Animal Movement was established. And in 2019, a special issue of the journal Ecography is devoted to radar aeroecology with contributions from the fields of aviation safety, computer science, conservation, ecology, meteorology, and radar technology. This issue is a landmark in the growing field of radar aeroecology and will help develop new partnerships and directions of research in this exciting new area of ecology.